For many years, scientists have been searching for biosignatures in the planets and stars of the solar system. Finding habitable planets with favorable conditions and any sign of alien life has been the main focus of astronomers for decades now. The brilliant and bright minds of the world have come together many times to work on advanced technology to help make some of the most significant breakthroughs in the universe. Many instruments have been designed to look closely at the Milky Way and observe the exoplanets and stars. Recently, NASA has designed and launched a space observatory telescope to share valuable insights into the universe. This instrument is called the James Webb Space Telescope. It was launched on 21st December 2021 from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. James Webb Telescope is the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, but it is a much improved and advanced space observatory. The telescope aims not only to deepen our understanding of the Milky Way, but also to peer at faraway exoplanets and celestial objects and hunt for evidence of dark matter. Only a few months into its operational phase, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to make history, and its discoveries continue to span the universe. Recently, Webb has found a strange alien world shrouded in clouds of sand like silicate grains, and it is the first time that a planet outside our solar system has been directly observed. For thousands of years, the only planets we knew about were orbiting our suns. But that changed in 1992 with the discovery of the first exoplanets. Since then, more than 5,000 exoplanets have been identified, but nearly all of them have been discovered through indirect observation. Like astronomers noticing regular dips in a star's brightness and being able to infer that an exoplanet was in its orbit. Direct observations can reveal details that cannot be obtained through indirect methods, but the star's light obscures the view of most exoplanets. As a result, fewer than 30 exoplanets have been directly observed, and there's mostly young gas giants distantly orbiting their stars. However, the Deep Space Telescope got its first direct image of another alien world. The planet is roughly 385 light years from Earth and looks like a splotch beside the store HIP 65426. Webb saw the exoplanet using its near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument, each looking at different wavelengths of infrared light. In the data collected by the telescope, astronomers spotted evidence of silicate-rich clouds around a brown dwarf nearly 20 times the size of Jupiter. The finding confirms some earlier theories about these odd planet-like worlds. Brown dwarfs are strange objects that are not quite big enough to ignite into stars, but are too big for ordinary planets, while brown dwarfs can't burn regular hydrogen. They can produce their own light and heat by burning deuterium. The brown dwarf in question is called VHS 1256b and orbits two small red dwarf stars, some 72 light years from Earth in the constellation Corvus, or Crow, in the southern sky. Astronomers discovered the strange exoplanet in 2016, which has puzzled them due to its reddish glow. They believed some type of atmosphere could cause that glow. Observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have now confirmed those theories, revealing that VHS 1256b must be wrapped in thick clouds full of sand-like silicate grains, according to Forbes. Webb also detected water, methane, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sodium and potassium in the atmosphere of VHS 1256b. The Webb data was so detailed that it showed the ratio of the various gases changes throughout VHS 1256b's atmosphere, suggesting the atmosphere is not still wild and turbulent. VHS 1256b is small for a brown dwarf, meaning the body is likely young. The exoplanet orbits 360 Sun-Earth distances from its two parent stars, following an oval-shaped orbit that takes 17,000 years to complete. The gas planet has no rocky surface, so likely it cannot support alien life. The scientists are preparing a paper about the observations, but the findings have yet to be peer-reviewed. However, the observations are notable because they hint at how the Webb telescope could be used to search for potentially habitable planets elsewhere in the universe. NASA said the Webb Telescope would be able to glean new details about HIP 65426b, including more precise measurements of its mass and age. Astronomers estimate that the exoplanet is about 15 million to 20 million years old, which means it's a relatively young world compared to Earth, which is 4.5 billion years old. The Hubble Space Telescope has snatched direct images of exoplanets, but it remains tricky to accomplish from space because stars typically outshine planets. In the case of HIP 65426b, the exoplanet is more than 10,000 times fainter than its host star in near-infrared light. The telescope's infrared eyes can see through dust and gas, allowing them to pick up objects and features beyond human sight. 
The near infrared camera and mid infrared instrument are also outfitted with so called chronographs that help block out the starlight. The $10 billion Webb telescope was launched on Christmas Day on the Ariane 5 rocket, a specialized rocket designed to take satellites and other payloads into transfer and low Earth orbit. The original launch date was set in 2007, but the launch faced 16 delays, with the pandemic extending the date way past the last expected launch date of March 2021. The James Webb Telescope is the largest space observatory ever built. It is twice in size as the Hubble Space Telescope but weighs half of it. It is also 15 times wider than its successor and has gold-plated mirrors and a vast sunshield base roughly the size of a tennis court. Webb carries chronographs that enable direct imaging of exoplanets near bright stars. The image of an exoplanet is just like a spot, not a grand panorama. However, studying that spot enables scientists to learn much about it, including its color, differences between winter and summer vegetation, rotation and weather. Along with the direct discovery of the alien planet, the James Webb Telescope has also taken incredible images of Jupiter. Its auroras have taken astronomers on a video tour zooming in to land upon a spectacular galaxy called the Cartwheel Galaxy, along with images of the most distant star, Arendelle. Galaxies at Redshift 13, along with a beautiful view of the solar system. Distant galaxies, exoplanets, and much more. Scientists have been considering methane as a biosignature to detect alien worlds. Methane as a chemical can be a sign of life if the planet meets three conditions. Firstly, if atmospheric carbon dioxide. Secondly, if the atmosphere has more methane than carbon monoxide. And thirdly, if the planet is not water rich. If these conditions are met, then there are chances of methane being a biosignature for the planet. But methane is just one part of the puzzle because to be sure whether life exists on a planet or not, you have to consider its geochemistry, how it's interacting with its star, and many processes that can affect a planet's atmosphere on geologic timescales. The James Webb Telescope is designed to study atmospheric methane in greater detail than other potential biosignatures. It is one of the reasons atmospheres have high hopes for this telescope because they hope it would be able to trace life outside our planet Earth. The image of the exoplanet is said to be a transformative moment not only for Webb but also for astronomy generally. Now scientists hope to get more images of exoplanets that will shape the overall understanding of physics, chemistry, and formation. While this is not the first direct image of an exoplanet taken from space, the Hubble Space Telescope has captured explicit exoplanet images previously. HIP 65426b points the way forward for Webb's exoplanet exploration. In the future, we can expect to see the James Webb Telescope used to directly image many more exoplanets based on the precision of these first observations. It might even be able to image smaller, fainter exoplanets than was previously possible. Previously, scientists have been limited to detections of super Jupiters, but they see the potential to image objects similar to Uranus and Neptune for the right targets. What do you guys think about the discovery of new exoplanets? Will Webb meet the high expectations of the scientists, or will they have to look into a more advanced version of the telescope to observe the universe? Do share your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and press the bell icon to stay connected for future space updates. See you guys in the next one!